The timely adjustable frame is designed for wall sizes that have changed due to increased wall thickness as a result of sound or fire requirements and for walls that are uneven due to poor construction. It is an excellent option to retain in your inventory for unexpected changes. Our adjustable frames are available in three sizes. 54A fits walls from 3 and 3 quarter inches to 5 and a half inches. 73A fits walls from 5 and 5 eighths inches to 7 and 3 eighths inches. 91A fits walls from 7 and a half inches to 9 and 1 eighth inches. The tools require 6 foot magnetic level, 3 foot level, electric screw gun, Number 3 Phillips tip recommended for hinge screws. Number 2 Phillips tip recommended for drywall screws. Phillips head screwdriver. Pliers. Tape measure. Pry bar. Safety glasses. Check the rough opening. The opening has to be 1 and 1 quarter inch over in width and 1 inch over in height. In this case, the door being used is 3 feet by 6 feet 8 inches, so the rough opening will be 37 and a quarter inches by 81 inches. The frame is packaged in two boxes, the header enclosure in one box, the uprights enclosure in another. Closures must be kept assembled for proper installation. Since the 6-8 frames are reversible, the jam can be flipped in for in to determine proper swing. There are tabs at each end. Tabs on the bottom must be bent down so the frame sits flush to the floor. Sleeve the header over the rough opening. Squeeze the header and closure over the wall for a snug, tight fit. Sleeve the hinge jam over the wall and adjust to wall thickness. Squeeze the jam and closure over the wall for a tight fit. Try to place the hinge jam close to the stud. This will allow you more room for adjustment in future steps. Align the slots in the header with the two tabs on the jam. Pull the header tight to the jam. Apply the strike jam in the same way the hinge jam was applied. The frame should always rest on the finished floor. If the floor is not finished, raise the frame to compensate for floor thickness. Working from the door side, place the level on the header. If your level indicates that the hinge jam side is higher than the strike jam, fasten one screw in the header over the hinge jam. Align the corner of the hinge jam with the corner of the header and fasten at an upwards angle at the top of the hinge jam to ensure the hinge jam is snug to the header. Go to the opposite side of the hinge jam and repeat the above steps to attach the closure pieces. If your level indicates that the hinge jam is lower than the strike jam, lift the header until it is level and fasten one screw in the header over the hinge jam. Lift the hinge jam tight to the header. Align the corner of the hinge jam with the corner of the header and fasten at an upwards angle at the top of the hinge jam to ensure the hinge jam is snug to the header. Go to the opposite side of the hinge jam and repeat the above steps to attach the closure pieces. Plumb the hinge jam using a 6 foot magnetic level. Apply one screw to the bottom of the frame. Check with a tape measure from the hinge jam to the strike jam at the bottom to be sure 36 inches or larger dimension is met. Apply one screw at every clip on the hinge jam of the door side only. The frame must be anchored with one fastener at each clip to maintain fire rating requirements. Apply the hinges to the door. Remove the pin from the top hinge installed on the door and apply the loose hinge leaf to the top hinge emboss of the frame. Hang the door by matching the hinge leaves and replacing the pin. Fasten the remaining hinges to the frame. Close the door in order to align the frame with the door. Begin with the header using a screwdriver through the alignment slot closest to the strike jam. Create an equal gap between the top of the door and the header.
fasten the header above the strike jam and the remainder of the header at every clip on the door side only. Lift the strike jam to the header. It is important that the corner of the header and the corner of the strike jam are properly aligned. Fasten at the top of the strike jam at an upwards angle to pull the strike jam tight to the header. Create an equal gap between the door and frame at the strike location and fasten. Create an equal gap between the door and frame at the bottom of the strike jam and fasten. Then fasten the remainder of the strike jam at every clip on the door side only. Once the door side is fastened, fasten the opposite side of the frame. Pull the header tight to the strike jam and apply a fastener at the corner of the header. Fasten the remainder of the header at every clip. Go to the hinge jam and make certain the bottom of the hinge jam is square to the wall and fasten. Fasten the remainder of the hinge jam at every clip. Align the corner of the strike jam with the corner of the header and fasten at the top of the strike jam. Make certain the bottom of the strike jam is square to the wall and fasten. Fasten remainder of the strike jam at every clip. Now the frame is completely anchored and ready for casing installation. The timely casing installs and removes easily due to our unique clip design. Our clips hold various casings secure and flush against the wall. Corner alignment pieces are provided with all of our casings to create a tight miter. If using our TA8 casing, the corner alignment pieces known as miter guard are factory installed to the vertical casings. Let's apply the casing, starting with the header first. You could damage or dimple the casing if you strike it directly in the center with your hand or a rubber mallet. Center the header casing, allowing for equal distance on both ends. Roll the casing over one clip toward the door with the tap of a hand, securing the casing on the center clip. Slide both upright casings with MitaGuard into the header casing. Then anchor the header casing using the same rolling motion toward the door. Anchor the upright casing starting at the top, making sure the casings are clipped over the outside and with the tap of a hand on the inside. The casing can be adjusted slightly to make sure the miters are all tight and secure. Next apply the casing to the opposite side. Apply the silencers to the frame. The last thing to do is install the ASA strike plate. Timely's adjustable frame, a perfect fit every time.